Okay. Here I will be demonstrating how to do an endovenous laser ablation treatment. In this patient, we have planned to do an endovenous laser ablation treatment for GSV and SSV. Generally, there are three modalities by which we can do uh, laser. Like uh, pre procedure, we do give anesthesia. First thing, we can do this procedure under spinal anesthesia. Sometimes people uh, prefer to do under tumescent anesthesia, but at our places, we give femoral and sciatic block and then popliteal block and along with that tumescent anesthesia. So, Dr. Apurva Mahale is my colleague and he is a pain management specialist. He looks after the femoral sciatic block. So, he will explain you about the procedure. After that, I will explain upon the endovenous laser ablation treatment. Now, we are going to demonstrate how we do a sciatic block at the popliteal fossa so that Thus, endovenous laser treatment should be pain free for the patient. If you are looking at this portion, this is popliteal crease where my probe is right now and over here in the screen what you can see is this one is this one is popliteal vein, this is popliteal artery and just superficial to the popliteal vein you can see this grape like structure. It is a beehive if you can see this is tibial nerve. If we can traverse this tibial nerve, if we can press it in the cephalic direction, what we can observe is there is one another route which is being coming and just get getting merged into this tibial nerve. Now, this is something which is known as common fibular nerve and these two nerves they come and then this this is where they form over this they form sciatic nerve. Okay? You can visualize this clearly over here and also with reference to the vessels, it is just above the popliteal vein and this one is popliteal artery and this one is sciatic now at the popliteal fossa. Okay. So, first we anesthetize Dada ek sui toste gabraisanaya. that we are in the right position just give a small squeeze into the ham into the lower limb so that you can see the gush of blood flow coming into the popliteal vein so we have confirmed that this this structure what we are watching is popliteal vein so whatsoever the collapsing the hypoechoic structure above the vein is the sciatic now we can again just going we are again going Cordial, and we can see these two fragments. This one is the tibial end, and this one is common fibular end. They are separating now, and as we move cephalic, we can see they form. They together form the sciatic nerve. You can easily distinguish the tibial component and the common fibular component over here. So after giving local anesthesia, what we do is we go in plane approach. And other ek sweet Here you can see my needle is advancing. You can see the tip of needle just clinging onto the sciatic now right now. Sister, please declare. Yeah. 
ओके ये ओपन करो जल फाइव एम एल जस्ट मिनट जस्ट मिनट सिस्टर जस्ट मिनट ओके नाउ वी आर पोरिंग सम लोकल एनेस्थेटिक इनटू इट सिस्टर फाइव एम एल प्लीज एस्पिरेट ओके फाइव एम एल here you can see okay the expansion you have seen is the local anesthetic over here sister it is wrong over here this one is local anesthetic and this one is the nerve so in that way we will spread our local anesthetic around the nerve Sister, by email, as per it go. Huh? By email, kill it. By email, kill it. Now you can see again the expansion of. Okay, good. And now again, by email, sister. We have taken. Huh? can see the nerve is being compressed by the local anesthetic bas okay okay sister and this is the last one ek minute sister okay fine fine aata yes aspirate hmm you can see the expansion on the monitor of the usg machine okay this one all is anesthetic which is being poured around the sciatic nerve fine so say dusra wala laun theva so just for the sake of white good spread of local anesthetic we rub it on we rub the local anesthetic the area over the sciatic nerve so this is this part one part of the block is done this is sciatic now block done we'll check it we'll check the action of sciatic now block after some time let it have its own spread over that time sister you know patient la survey kar femoral sati here what we can see is patient is in supine position this one my left hand over here this anterior superior iliac spine this one is pubic symphysis and this area is what we call as inguinal ligament so what we do is we first search for femoral vessel so on my screen over here these are femoral vessels artery vein and nerve what you can appreciate over here is this one is the artery and you have to con con with the flow now this is common femoral artery and lower to it is a femoral vein and if you can appreciate one thing that over here this is this the silver lining which is coming up is fascia lata and the lining which is going down and just covering the femoral sheath is fascia iliaca so just when it fascia iliaca what we stress and when we stress you can just see a nerve the same structure where you can find the nerve so again we just put on the flow over here what we can see is femoral artery femoral vein and over here the structure you are visualizing just when it fascia la uh, fascia iliaca this is nerve so this is very specific thing you have to go up take it in the middle and at the inguinal area you can easily distinguish the nerve which is 
just beneath the fascia iliaca. So, here you can easily distinguish that this is the silver lining coming up, this is fascia lata, this low silver lining is fascia iliaca and this structure over here you are visualizing is femoral nerve and it will be more visible when you tilt your probe in such a way that it should have the cranial tilt, 40 or 60 degree will be fine. So, from here onwards, what we can do is Good enough. Got it? So it was not enough. So, generally what we do, you can see the traje trajectory of needle going inside. So, it has to pierce fascia iliaca first, fascia lata first and then go to fascia iliaca. Sister, aspirate kara. Also here, what we use is lignocaine with a bit of soda bicarb for quick action. Sister, just a minute. Uh, aspirate. Now, you can see on screen, aspirate, aspirate, aspirate. Lock Air kara. On there. Hmm, five. Atham, 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 push kara. Push kara, push kara. Push kara. Let's take. Over here on the monitor, you can see the tip of my needle. Huh? Sister, push kara. aspirate and just push 5 ml. You can see the expansion of volume just beneath the fascia lata. Now, I am going deeper. 
एक मिनट हो जस्ट जस्ट मिनट जस्ट मिनट पुश यू कैन सी द वॉल्यूम एक्सपांडिंग एस्पिरेट करा ठीक है आता पायात करंट सारखा वाटत आहे का पायात करंट सारखा वाटत आहे इकडे इकडे सिस्टर त्याला लावू नका दे लावू नका दे सगळं लूज होत आहे त्याने पायात करंट सारखा वाटत आहे एस्पिरेट करा मॉनिटर कश वाटलो बस हाँ पुश करा पाइए मैं बस पाइए हाँ आई आता एस्पिरेट नहीं पाइए मैं बस बस पुश करा तमा 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 अरे तुम ही कैसा लगा डायरेक्शन है तुम ही सोड़ा तो सोड़ा Are we ready? So before handing over patient to any interventional radiologist or somebody who is doing laser, what we do is we check the sensory part of the block. So we can check it by cold and hot temperature also and also by the needle prick. Over here I have blunted the needle and we are doing it by the needle prick. Kaka, so you toast the kakute? Okay, nai. Ata toast the kakute? आता 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 इत तो सारे वाटते इतने वाटते सो जनरली द जनरल कोर्स इज अलॉन्ग द कोर्स ऑफ जनरल ग्रेट सेफ एन स्पेन वी मेक श्युअर दैट देर आर नो सेंसेश पेशेंट वोट हैव एनी पेन सो वी जनरली गो फ्रॉम द कोर्स ऑफ जी एस टी ओवर टू डॉक्टर पंकज नाउ ही विल बी एलिसिटिंग यू how he does the laser part of varicose vein laser treatment 